I remember early in your career after Chris Farley died, mm. it was uh, the rap always was, well, Spade's not going to be able to do anything without Chris Farley. He needs sure. Farley. He needs Farley, right? That's still I mean, rap. Yeah. It, is that still the rap? <laughs> I mean, I hear it on Twitter. Yeah. I told you, David. Didn't make any sense, but you were like, mm. yeah, well, you're like, mm. no, you're like, yeah. David and Chris, ladies and gentlemen. What a great comedy team you guys were. Do you still think about it at all, or are you just sort of past it? Overall, I do think that uh, it was a big waste, of course. Yeah. I mean, I could we could have done, at least I had a career doing horrible movies with him when we were both done. You know what I mean? We just keep coming back and we're like, hey, we got yeah, together Yeah, but it again. had to freak you out. I mean, you've gone on to great success. Who was the genius <clears throat> that figured that you two guys would be good in the first movie? Who, who, who figured? That was Lauren. He told two writers they write a movie about these guys the way they act around the office, like Spade's like the fake smart one and Farley walks behind him and asks him questions and then I make fun of him and then he It's sort of like and, the Three Stooges concept. Yeah, like was Mo just, was smarter than the other yeah, two idiots. Yeah, fake smarter. And, right. and then, uh, uh, but I was always like in awe that he was so good and almost didn't know it. So even in movies like Tommy Boy, I'm remembering bits and pieces he would say over the weeks and just go, this actually one line we got to work in because you said it two weeks ago. Or fat guy in little coat. Let's let's try to put that in the movie somewhere, even though it's so dumb. But I think people will think it's funny if we do. And Richard, what's happening? I like some of the funny stories about Farley because uh, the, the one that I had never heard before, never heard you tell before, that Farley managed to date one of Lorne Michaels' beautiful oh, yeah. assistants. He loses her, and it turns out that uh, Chris lost her to a comedian. And you, yeah. you try to console him. And what did you say to him when he lost this uh, I girl? I think it was me and Sandler were yeah. with him, and uh, and he comes back. Has she come crawling back yet? And I go, I don't think so. And he goes, her, she's got some new boy toy. And I go, yeah. And he goes, well, because he's all cocky now, he's killing on the show. He goes, well, might be better looking than me, but he ain't richer, he ain't funnier, and he's not more famous. And we were just dead silent. <laughs> and we're like, um, oh, for three, it's uh, Steve Martin. <laughs> she was dating Steve yeah, Martin. Yeah, he goes, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, um, Richard. Farley smarter. could be viciously mean. You point out at his story <laughs> that you were dating a girl who I guess was in Playboy. And oh. um, you, right? That, that wasn't really mean. That's, Come on. That's, I mean, it's funny mean. He takes the magazine and does what? Yeah, I went, <laughs> I dated a girl for briefly who like, in, it, that was in Playboy, and I right. couldn't believe it. So of course I was bragging right. at work. I have a little tiny office with Farley, and, yeah. and then Adam and Chris Rock have the one you walk through. My tiny one. Yeah. So we're all jammed in there. I go to read through, <laughs> and Farley goes. He writes me a note and throws it over, and he's just staring at me. And he goes, "It says, David, did you go in the office yet?" And I go, I look over. I go, "We just came out of the office." He goes, "Go in." <laughs> And I go, uh, okay, whatever. And then it, he gets closer to read to the break and read through, and he looks over and he goes, go in. He's mouthing it and laughing and rubbing his hands. I go, all right, whatever. So I get up to go in, and he has the Playboy out, and he jacked off all over it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There's jizz all uh, over. That is disgusting, uh, but it's funny. It's so funny. I go, wait, what? Is that jizz? He goes, yeah. <laughs> he was out of his fucking mind. Out of his mind. By the way, on the way to read through, which he... We had probably a minute after we walked out of there while he did it. Oh, my God. He goes, I can come in under a minute. I go, really? What about when you're with a girl? He goes, who gives a fuck? I go, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm stoned. So are you. Do you ever watch the old movies or the two painful? Yeah. I mean, they're on yeah. so much that you get caught up in them, and it's sort of sad and fun because you remember the whole day of the shoot. You remember? Right. One day going, uh, let's bring a little clip-on tie and say it's a clip-on. And you go, oh, really? And then we go, let's just try to put that in somewhere in the scene. Because you'd see the mini sides for the next day and go, this feels a little flat. Like housekeeping from Tommy Boy. Housekeeping! I would do every morning when I came to his room. I'd go, housekeeping! And he'd go, uh. And i go, housekeeping! And he goes, the fuck out of here. Put that fucking thing on the door. And I go, housekeeping! He goes, god damn it. And then he'd open the door and he goes, oh, it's you. When you do that stuff in real life and it's funny, yeah. and then you go to try it on film. You don't know for sure. And stuff we do anyway, we go, if it's done right, I think people will think it's funny too. I think what works about us is that we're so different, but it also <laughs> can get to be trouble. Yeah. But he's a great friend of mine. Pretty You're funny. You're like a team, aren't you? Chris and I are the fatty and skinny of the 90s.